Utah's drought emergency is affecting farms and the food supply. Agriculture is by far the state's biggest water user. But as Ben Winslow shows us, producers trying new ways to conserve the precious resource. Utah's agriculture industry is seeing as much as 75% less water because of our drought. Now, policymakers are looking at ways to optimize the water supply we have. Any rain we got yesterday, like, look at that. Just powder, nothing. Utah's drought emergency is hitting farmers hard. The heat is bringing some crops in early. Others are being slashed. Some farmers are selling livestock because feed is diminishing. We talk about 80% of the water statewide being used for agriculture. Um, you know, a lot of that water use is being used in our rural communities. And that's the lifeblood of those communities. Joel Ferry is a fifth generation farmer and a state representative. He's part of a working group set up by the Utah legislature to look at water policy. Some of their ideas he's putting to work on his own farm. For example, he's lining and covering canals. So you don't have the leaching, you don't have the loss, you don't have the weeds and everything else consuming all that water. Other ideas include maximizing the efficiency of sprinklers and changing how farmers plant crops. And I want to use less, but I want to use less wisely. But it costs money, and for farmers, it can be a lot of money. Representative Ferry is pushing his colleagues in the legislature to consider incentives and cost-matching grants to get farmers to be more water efficient. Box Elder County or Cash County here in northern Utah is go are going to be different than what's going to work for Washington County or Kane County or Iron County down in southern Utah. And so we have to be flexible in how we're, um, I think as we look at this on a statewide level, how we're um, managing that, setting policy. So far, the legislature has set aside $280 million for water conservation efforts in Utah, but that's not just for agriculture. If you look at the climate models, these droughts are expected to continue to get deeper. But Representative Ferry says unless things start turning around for Utah, they need to rethink agriculture policies. If we haven't made the investment, spent the money, and, and improved the systems that we have, then we're going to just you're going to be struggling again. Now, state lawmakers are looking at ways to use federal money to make some of these water conservation plans happen. In Corinne, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. Fox 13 News has told four reservoirs in the state are getting close to running dry. Right now, the Department of Natural Resources says the Gunnison, Paiute, Otter Creek, and Yuba reservoirs are all very, very low. The state is predicting they could run dry sometime this summer. That will impact agriculture producers in central and southern Utah.